Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is October 6th, and right now we're looking at the visible slash infrared satellite imagery. You can see that marine layer wall off the coastline. Some nice sunny skies are going to be had this morning. A little bit of a marine layer down there is towards San Diego, just off the coast. Doesn't look like it's impacting the beaches right now, but you might see it out there. Not many clouds to speak of. Still got the Santa Ana winds, these offshore winds coming across the area, and we will take a look at the extended forecast. As always, looks like we're going to have a system into the Pacific Northwest. It's going to clip portions of Northern California. It could bring some precip all the way down towards the Bay Area as well. We'll look at those details. We'll also check out Tropical Storm uh, Lydia down there to the south to make sure she's not doing anything crazy as we go through the forecast. But you can see her down there, some nice deep convection going on. Uh, the model is showing it, you know, borderline tropical storm hurricane, but should not have any impacts on the Southwest USA. But we will look at the track of it because it's kind of interesting as it moves back towards the Mexico coastline here. You have to watch it closely because you never know if some of that remnant moisture might try to move north at some point. And of course, there's the potential for additional tropical cyclone development here as we go on in through October. This is looking at San Diego, California. You can see all the heat advisory out there except for the immediate coastline of the I-5 corridor down there towards San Diego as well. Once you get up in towards Los Angeles, it goes more out towards the coastline there as well. But, you know, typical stuff. You guys know what to do. 90 to 100 degrees out there. And it's not going to last for too much longer. This is Saturday's forecast, Sunday's forecast, National Weather Service, Hanford, California. You can see across from the valley areas, some mid-90s, mid and upper 90s out there. And it's going to be pretty darn warm all the way out towards the coastline here as well. You can see Death Valley 104, nice and chilly, uh, relatively speaking, out there. Uh, the heat advisory is extended all the way into Saturday night here for the Bay Area. That includes San Francisco out there. So heads up for that. And we'll look at the San Francisco temperatures here in a moment. Looking at Friday, Las Vegas, things warming up a bit there. Lake Havasu City 101. This is a nice graphic here from the National Weather Service, Las Vegas. And uh, again, this is uh, for uh, Hanford, California. And you can see the cool down coming here as we go Monday through Tuesday here as we get some onshore flow. And we bring a system just to the north here. We'll look at that in a bit of detail in a moment. Now, this is the precipitation forecast according to the National Weather Service, Sacramento. You got the Bay Area, Sacramento here. Maybe even down towards Stockton, a little bit of precip coming in. That would be nice. Eureka, one to two inches. You can see Redding, quarter to half an inch there as well. So, so yeah, we'll definitely take anything we can get, you know, help to completely put out some of these fires across Northwest California. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station to record all this crazy weather we get here along the West Coast and the Southwest portion of the USA, it's always much more fun to watch it when you've got a weather station attached to your place of residence. So click on that link down below if you want to save 10%. This thing stores all the data for you in the cloud also. This is European. Last night's run, you can see the Hawaiian Islands bottom left. There's California here. There's Tropical Storm Lydia down here south of Baja. Big Big ridge up over some of the west coast and pacific northwest that will be moving off to the east a bit here and this is the next system kind of swinging through the pacific northwest they could bring some precipitation in here to places of central and northern california and we'll be watching this closely here over the next day or so we'll try to pin down a few more details we can see some troughing coolness down here as we go through the midweek portion there and that's about as far as last night's european run goes and you can see lydia moving back towards the mexico coastline there right now again not showing any moisture getting up into the area now, this is looking at that 850 millibar heights, 5,000 feet. You can clearly see the offshore flow continuing on across Southern California. And then we start to, we keep it going really until through Saturday morning. But then after Saturday morning, we really start to relax the gradient here. And we start to get impacted from this next system. It's going to turn things more southerly across the area. Santa Ana winds will end. And we're going to cool things down as we go to the early portion of next week. Looking at the National Plan of Models, you can see these very warm temperatures all the way up to the coastline. I think San Francisco at 92 yesterday, 90 the previous day. And we're going to try to do it again here today. So enjoy that nice warm weather because it is coming to an end here over the next few days. This is looking at Los Angeles. And in fact, let me do this. I'm going to back back up here because I want to show you that cooling trend coming. You see Saturday along the immediate coastline, things start to cool down a bit. But then as you see, we go Sunday, Monday, look at the cool down coming here. By the time you get towards Tuesday, you're dropping back down into the 70s for many of the valley areas. And even the desert's cooling down a little bit there. And you can see Wednesday, Thursday. So pretty much done with the big heat for now along the coastline. It is October though, and we could bring those offshore winds back in here in the future and warm the coastline back up. So, you know, we'll, we'll keep watching for that here over the next few days and on through the next couple of weeks. This is Los Angeles. Again, a nice warm day today and tomorrow before the ground gradual cool down back towards normal as we go through the mid portion next week and then we'll watch this maybe a bounce back to some above average temperatures here as we go through mid-october this is san francisco check it out another 90 plus degree day there look at some of these overnight lows average this time of year about 53 so you're about 10 plus degrees above average even in your overnight lows but then the drop back down to some onshore flow starts there on sunday
say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, much more closer to average temperatures there. And if you look closely here, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see uh, San Francisco, 92 degrees yesterday. It looks like it was a record high, 90 the previous day. And we're going to try to do that again today, October 6th. This is looking at Fresno again, uh, three more warm days here today, tomorrow, and Sunday before the uh, drop back down to some more average temperatures coming up. Las Vegas, something similar there as well. You know, nothing too crazy there. If you're going to Las Vegas, you kind of expect that kind of temperatures from time to time. This is Phoenix, a couple more 100 degree days there, and then the gradual cool down back towards average. But you can see the, the red line here when I show these graphs is the average temperature for this time of year. And you can see it's in the low 90s. It'll drop down into the upper 80s here as you get towards mid and later October. Say San Jose, the same thing that I've been mentioning here as well. This is Tropical Storm Lydia, and it's it may become a hurricane here shortly, and then eventually back down towards a tropical storm as it turns back towards Mexico. And as far as it concerns us right now, it's not showing much of its remnant moisture making its way back north, but it's always just something that we'll keep in the back of our mind and watch. And here's last night's GFS run. Let's see what it says. You can see Hurricane or Tropical Storm Lydia there, and then it kind of slows down and makes its way back to the east. But as you can see, it's not showing much remnant moisture at all, making its way north as we go. And you can see we may get further tropical cyclone development here as we go on into the extended, but we're not going to worry about that too much just yet. Plenty of time to watch for that. This is the European. This goes out 144 hours, Tropical Storm or uh, Tropical storm or hurricane Lydia there on um, back towards the uh, Mexico coastline, but no sign of the, uh, moving back up north. Uh, just uh, I like to keep an eye on this kind of stuff here because it is pretty high impact here when you can get this tropical remnant moisture back up over the region, which is not uncommon for this time of year. Total precipitation in inches, European ensemble means. So we're going to scroll through here. What we're looking at is this system here. You can see it clipping the Bay Area and impacting Northern California. And of course, take anything we can get this time of year, but this goes out 144 hours. This would be Tuesday night. Night. So you can kind of see what the ensemble average here is for central and northern California. We can bring a few hundredths of an inch even a bit further south and east than the Bay Area and some of the mountain ranges as well. But yeah, there's probably still some smoldering going on, some fire activity across northwest California that this will help put out as well. 6 to 10 day temperature outlook through mid-October. You can clearly see that we have an above average signal across much of the west here and even an above average precipitation signal a bit here just north of the Bay Area up the Pacific Northwest coastline. Now this is looking at the GFS, a little bit longer range of view of things here. This is a 06Z. There's Tropical Storm or Hurricane Lydia here. Ridge pushing off. We get the system moving in through Northern California there. Troughing hangs on for a bit. Then we look off into the extended a bit more. And you can kind of see a return of a ridge here maybe across some of the west coast looks a bit transient there and we've got some continued troughing here that not too far away i mean this is just one gfs deterministic run here but maybe we can keep some of the cooler temperatures around for a bit but then if we go way off into the extended forecast it shows a nice ridge here with deep troughing out over the pacific ocean uh, typical and uh, kind of classic textbook pacific north american positive oscillation stuff showing up here but it is a ways out there and, and you know we'll, we'll work these details out as we get closer this is the eclipse viewing here so you can see on uh, the oregon coastline there uh, October 14th, Saturday morning, 9.20 p.m. And this is an annular solar eclipse so that moon does not completely block out the sun. You're going to see the ring of fire around the sun there. <laughs> it's going to be kind of interesting. Can't wait to see some of the pictures coming in from that. But taking a look at the cloud cover about that time, you can see the European actually has some cloud breaks even across Oregon all the way up to the coastline here as well. And it's going to clip Northeast California here also. So, you know, we're looking uh, still a ways out there in the forecast. So we have plenty of time to look at this. But it does show a weak system. And the GFS shows something similar with a weak system just off the coastline, potentially spreading clouds and maybe ruining some of the eclipse viewing here across Oregon, California, and Nevada. But we'll watch that here as we go day by day. But anyway, I put this little scroll bar here, down here. Let me know what you guys think of it here. Make sure to watch the California Weather Watch channel. Eventually, these videos will be moving over there. I'll try to post education videos on both the Pacific Northwest Weather Watch and the California Weather Watch pages. Let's get this one up and running so we can get the word out to more people across California and keep people up to date on what's coming weather-wise. But anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.